Wax moth are a major problem and pest of stored uh, honeybee combs. Uh, the adult stages of the moth are very active during hot weather or warm humid weather and lay eggs in unattended brood combs or stored combs. So any stored combs in the shed or any weak colonies in the field or dead colonies in the field, the material of the combs, the wax, are ex uh, exposed to potential damage from wax moth. In this case I've got here, the combs have been absolutely ripped to pieces by the larval stage of a, a greater wax moth. In, uh, I've got another case here where you can see the, uh, the combs being uh, ripped to pieces or eaten um, off plastic foundation. You can see the small webbing running around this particular comb by the lesser wax moth. There's two main species, that's the wet lesser and the greater wax moth. There are several other species of moth that can be found as well. The greater wax moth in the larval stage does most of the damage where it burrows through the combs, consuming the combs and when it wants to pupate, can bury, bury, burrow itself into the woodwork and, and form a cocoon. Um, in that whole process it creates a lot of damage. Both wax moths leave a webbing behind which is the classic symptom as far as um, differentiating the grub being a small hive beetle larvae or a wax moth larvae. There are several means you can use to control wax moth and we'll talk about them shortly.